He's making himself a woman's suit, Mr. Crawford, out of real women. And he, and he can sew, this guy. He's, he's very skilled. He's a tailor or a dressmaker. Starling. Or, that's why they're all so big. He has to keep them alive so he can starve them a while so that he can loosen their Starling. skin and take... Starling, Starling, we know who he is and where he is. We're on our way right now. Where? Calumet City, edge of Chicago. We'll be on the ground in 45 minutes with HRT. Oh, that's... That's great news, sir, but how... Johns Hopkins came up with some names. We fed him into known offenders. Subject's name is Jamie Gum, a.k.a. John Grant. Lecture's description was accurate. He just lied about the name. Listen to this. Customs had some paper on it. They stopped a carton two years ago at LAX. Live caterpillars from Suriname. The addressee was a Jame Gum. Well, Chicago's only 400 miles from here. I'll be there in... No, 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 Starling. There's not enough time. We want him for murder, not kidnapping. I need you to link him to the Bimmel girl before he's indicted. See what you can dredge up in Belvedere. Yes, sir, you bet. I'll do my best. Starling, we wouldn't have found him without you. Nobody's gonna forget that. At least of all me. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, Mr. Crawford. Mr. Crawford? Is that a good job, FBI agent? You get to travel around and stuff? I mean, better places than this. Sometimes you do. Freddie was so happy for me when I got this job at the bank. Toaster giveaways and Barry Manilow on the speakers all day. She thought it was such hot shit. What did she know, big dummy? Stacy, did Frederica ever mention a man named uh, Jamie Gum? Or a Jame Gum? How about John Grant? No. Oh, would she have had a friend that you didn't know about? Or No way. She had a guy I'd have known, believe me. Sewing was her life. Did you two ever work together? Or... Oh, sure. Me and Pam Malavese used to help her do alterations for old Mrs. Littman. Can you give me Mrs. Littman's address? I need to talk to her. Good afternoon. Um, sorry to bother you. I'm, I'm looking for Mrs. Lippman's family. No, Lippman's don't live here anymore. Uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, I really need to speak with you. Clear! Clear! You know, what's the problem, officer? Well, I'm investigating the death of Frederica Bimmel. There's no one here, Jack. Clarice. Your name is? Oh, uh, Jack Gordon. Mr. Gordon. Good. Um, well, Frederica used to work for Mrs. Lippman. Did you know her? No, uh uh. Oh, wait. Was she a great big fat person? Yeah, she was a big girl, sir. Yeah, I, I miss. No, I, I read about her in the newspaper. Um, Mrs. Lippman had a son, though. Maybe he could help you. I got, I got his card in here someplace. So, do you want to come in while I look for it? May I? Yes. Thank you. Are you close to catching somebody, you think? Yes, we may be. Did you take over this place after Mrs. Littman died? Is that right? Yeah, I, I bought this house uh, two years ago. Did she leave any records, any business records, tax forms, uh, lists of employees? No, well, nothing like that at all. Hey, does the FBI learn something? The police around here don't seem to have the first clue.
I mean, you, you got like a description, fingerprints, anything like that? 